In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can work out the best method for importing photos into Lightroom Classic that is right for you. If you've ever struggled to find a specific photo that is buried deep in your hard drive or on an external drive, then you're not alone. The key to a smooth Lightroom workflow starts before editing with how you import your images. Import your images incorrectly and it will lead to issues. Files are gonna get scattered, duplicates are gonna pile up and missing photos become a real issue. Using the wrong import method can also lead to risk of accidental deletions. And if you don't create smart previews, you might lose editing capability when your external drive is not connected. So today let's break down how to import photos into Lightroom Classic quickly, efficiently, and without all the confusion. And at the end of this video, I'm going to show you the method that I use to keep my files organized and secure. First, you need to connect your camera or memory card to your computer. If Lightroom doesn't detect it automatically, simply go to File, Import Photos and Video. At this point, Lightroom needs to know where your photos are stored. On the left side, you'll see the source panel. This is where you choose whether you're importing from a memory card, external drive, or a folder on your computer. Now, here's where things can get a little bit confusing. At the top of the screen, you'll see four different import options. Copy as DNG, copy, move, and add. Each option serves a different purpose. The first one is copy as DNG. This converts your raw files into Adobe's DNG or digital negative format. But why would you use this? Well. DNG files are often smaller and more compatible with Adobe software, but conversion takes extra time. I've found that most photographers prefer to keep their original RAW format, so this option is a matter of preference. Next, we have Copy. This keeps your photos in their original RAW format and makes a copy of them in your chosen folder. It's the most common choice when importing from a memory card because it preserves your originals on the memory card while ensuring they're stored safely. Then we have the Move option. And the move option does exactly what you would expect it to do. It moves the photos from their current location to a new one, deleting them from their original source. This is useful if you're moving files from an old hard drive, but you need to be really careful. Once they're moved, they'll be deleted from their original location. Finally, we have the add option. The add option adds the photos to the Lightroom catalog while still keeping the original files in their original location. This is useful if your images are already organized on your hard drive and you don't want to create duplicates. So which option should you choose? If you're importing from a memory card, copy or copy as DNG are your best options. If you already have photos on your hard drive and you just want Lightroom to recognize them, then add is the way to go. Now, before you hit import, Lightroom is going to let you choose how it processes the previews of your images. You have two options, standard previews and smart previews. Standard previews are just a temporary preview of your original image, and the result of that is that you get faster viewing in the library module. However, if your raw files are stored on an external hard drive, you'll need that drive connected before you can edit them. Smart previews, on the other hand, are lightweight, compressed versions of your raw files. They allow you to edit the images even when the originals are not connected, making them ideal if you work on the go. They take up less space and let Lightroom run faster, but they aren't full quality RAW files. But when you reconnect your hard drive, Lightroom will automatically sync your edits to the original file. So if you always have your original files connected, then standard previews are fine. But if you edit on a laptop or travel often, smart previews can save you a lot of time. At this point, you can also choose a collection to automatically add our photos to, or you can create a new collection. You can also add any metadata to our photos so that it's applied as part of the import. And finally, click import. Lightroom will process your photos and within moments, they'll appear in the library module ready for editing. So which method do I use? As soon as I'm done with a shoot, I manually transfer all of my images to an external hard drive that is organized by year and name of shoot. Once the photos are on the external drive, I click on file, import photos and videos, and I navigate to the hard drive and the folder the photos are in. I can then select the photos that I want to import. This method leaves my photos in their original location, but they're added to the Lightroom catalog. I also have a backup solution for all the original files to make sure that they are secure. If you'd like to see my backup solution in detail, drop me a note in the comments section and I can make a video showing you how I do that. And that's it, a quick and structured way to import your photos into Lightroom Classic. And with the right settings, you'll have a faster, more efficient workflow. And if you have any questions about anything that I covered here today, just pop them in the comment section below 
below and I will help you where I can. And if you found this video useful and you would like to support me, you can do so by clicking the like button. And if you'd like to see more content like this, all you have to do is click on the subscribe button and YouTube will notify you when I upload a new video. But that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed it. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Thank you.